That's Matt Seco Choir right there. You want to see him perform? Uh, we'll put all the information out at MyNorthwest.com. And, and, and I hope we're doing a fair job at telling a important story about a 12-year-old uh, that reached out to adults, and the adults didn't reach back. Yeah. And, and I think it's really important that when our kids reach out to us, that we reach back. And that's what Kira did. She reached out to some adults, and she said, you know what? There's 25 really cool kids coming here from Uganda, and we all share something in common. I lost my mom this year, and all of these 25 kids that are coming, they've all been orphaned or they're at-risk kids. And, and so we have this common bond, and so I want to make sure when these kids come that they have something really cool to go home with, uh, to remember their time in the States and their time here in Seattle. And, and so it ticks me off when we as parents or we as adults sometimes don't listen to our kids. And so I appreciate Kara's grandmother getting in touch with us sending us a very impassioned email and basically said, hey, Ron and Don, you better get off your butts <laughs> and you better help this little 12-year-old uh, out. So that's exactly what we did. It was her vision. And as a result of that, uh, you brought by almost 100, uh, 100 backpacks uh, to uh, the radio station and you filled it up with really great stuff. And we are so appreciative for that. So now here's what you need to do is you need to get out and you need to get out and support these kids. So they're really amazing kids. I want you to meet two of them right now. Uh, Nora's here. Nora, good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Very good. Where are you from, Nora? Um, I'm from Uganda, you... East Africa. Yeah, and uh, what's the weather like in Uganda this time of year? In Uganda, the weather is evergreen. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> always pretty hot, though. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> hey, uh, when you're in Uganda, what is your favorite type of food? That uh, that you, if you could have anything you wanted to eat in Uganda, what would it be, Nora? My favorite food in Uganda is rice and beans. All right, but now you're in the states, right? So yeah. now now, yeah. now that we're in the U.S. and you're hanging out with fun kids like Kira, what is your favorite food? And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, Ron. Why don't you why don't you tell her what your favorite food is? And he likes lots of it's usually it's usually pizza and ice cream, isn't uh, it? Well, I do love a good ice cream, but I also <laughs> yeah. Yesterday when we had the, a steak, I love steak. I love right. pasta. You know what? I'm, I like lots of different foods. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one favorite. Yeah. So what about you? What do you what, what do you like when you're in the states? Still My rice? favorite food is French fries and chicken. That's oh. all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. French fries and, and chicken. And chicken. How right. long was the plane ride to get from Uganda to Seattle? For, I think, two days. That's a long <laughs> time in the plane, huh? Yeah. We, we, we come from Uganda, and then we, from Uganda to Kenya, after Kenya to London, then here to Seattle. That's a lot of trip. <laughs> That's a lot of time on a Greyhound, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let, let, me ask you, let, me, let me ask you, you're how old right now? I'm 13 years old. You're four, how many boyfriends do you have, like five or six uh, boyfriends, or are you, just, are you single right now? Yeah. Yeah, stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes to both of those. All right, very good. Is Maria here? She's right yeah. There. Hey, Maria, here. Good, good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm great. Very good. How your time? How's your time been in the States so far? Are you having a good time in the in Seattle? Um, Not too sure about that. <laughs> yeah, believe me, you know, I live here, and I don't always have a great time either, so it's nothing to, it's nothing to worry about. How, how long have you been singing with the choir? For... Six months. Six months now, and what what is your, what is your favorite song that you guys sing? How much? How, how do, now I notice there's a gentleman standing behind. Is that Andrew with the drum back there? Yeah. 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 Now could Andrew start playing the drum and you guys start singing something? Can we do that? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it, Andrew. Let's break out the drum Come on. Come on and let's in. break Notice it out on the one. Are we ready? Yeah. You guys want it? All right. Here we. What are we gonna What are we gonna do? Africa. All right. Here we go. Africa. Maybe what you guys play. Hit it, you guys. Here we. Here we go. The kids from Uganda. Here we go. Ready? Africa, rise up and shine. Be joyful for the sun is rising. A king is born to bring us hope and peace. And a song of freedom is spreading wide like a crystal sea. Friday by the rest, clap your hands. Africa. Africa 
ye mama wange he mama Africa ye baba wange owe Africa ye baba wange he mama Africa ye baba wange owe owe je bakuza je basuza je bakuza je basuza je bakuza je basuza he mama Africa rise up and shine French fries. Yeah. 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 Just hang out with your French good. fries all the time. It'd be great. Hey, uh, you know what? The young people, these kids work so hard to get here, so work a little harder to see them tomorrow. Kent Station, 4 yeah. and 5 o'clock. And again, we're going to put information up for the Matsiko Choir on our website, MyNorthwest.com. Friday at the Walmart in Covington. Covington, you better show up at 1 o'clock, all right? And then Garfield High School at Quincy Jones Performance Hall uh, from 5 to 9. And we just appreciate uh, these kids and these young people so much. So don't forget the lesson, and I don't want to preach it yet that Kara, uh, Kara taught us so. Uh, sometimes we don't listen to our children and to our kids, and they have very important lessons to teach us. And uh, I think uh, this young woman, this young 12-year-old, she taught us all a very, very important lesson, all right? We're going to take you to break with the Matsiko Children's Choir, and you got to go see them this weekend. They are absolutely phenomenal, and we appreciate them all uh, stopping by. All right, kids, Thank take you. it away. Here we go, Ron.